Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Filmington. About a month ago, I posted a video about how I predicted there to be a lot of deals on wax to be had in November and December. Now, part of this is, you know, specific to all retailers that are trying to get rid of old product, clear inventory in order to make room for new stuff. So in the context of cards, that would be dealers, brick and mortar stores, online retailers, even distributors, um, Blowout and some of these other big retailers act as distributors as well. Um, so I expected to see some deals and it wasn't just because of the seasonality aspect. It's because of the economic aspect. It's because of inflation. In the last video, I talked about how for the first time since I can remember, since I've been buying and holding wax, uh, did we experience a time where people are like, okay, you know, I want to liquidate this because I need the cash for something. Cash is no longer trash and cash is a better alternative to most sealed wax products from modern years, modern or ultra modern years. So the whole idea or premise that sealed wax, sealed modern wax is an inflation hedge or an economic recession hedge. That's kind of fallen down a bit, at least what I experienced back in October, right? So we saw some cracks in the foundation. I talked about how I'm on a dealer to dealer platform where businesses buy wax from other businesses. You can post offer prices for stuff that you're interested in. You can post asking prices for stuff that you're selling. And it's a way for dealers to kind of, you know, buy some stuff that they need or sell some stuff that they have an excess of. And uh, it's been pretty good for me, but the name of the platform is DealerNet, and I'm on there because I have an LLC. And back in October, I was noticing a lot of people trying to liquidate, and it was some of the more well-capitalized online retailers, you know, that would surprise you that were trying to liquidate in advance of November. Now, since then, I've talked to other people on the platform. One guy told me that he had to open three unpaid item cases, meaning that other dealers, online retailers that have an account on DealerNet um, weren't paying or hadn't paid on time and he had to open three unpaid item cases worth $23,000. And I had to open up one myself, uh, I think it was the first time ever, and it was just one item that just took a while for that check to get delivered. That has since been resolved. I'm not sure if that other seller has been made whole, but he mentioned to me, be careful out there and since then, there have been new policies put in place on DealerNet to help prevent this, where people have to pay more timely. Um, they're even recommending that you don't send a check through USPS First Class because it's not reliable. So encouraging the use of their EFT platform as well as other electronic means of sending payment. Cracks in the foundation, yes. Now here comes four or five weeks later, Black Friday just passed, Cyber Monday just passed. And a lot of people are complaining that, ah, damn, those deals kind of suck. So like, where's the real deals? Golden auctions are crashing. PWCC auctions crashed last week. Some of the higher end items. Every segment is different though. So low end, mid end, it moves at a different rate. It bottoms and peaks at different times than high end. There's different factors. There's different sorts of issues that plague those markets. And there's a different uh, cohort that's buying that stuff. Same holds true with wax. So. You know, everybody's looking for these awesome deals. And I think what we saw were good deals disguised as great deals. Now, Blowout and some of the other big shops, I don't want to single out just Blowout here, but there were a lot of deals on retail stuff. There were a lot of deals on not sought after hobby stuff, kind of junk hobby products. So specifically talking about like the older years of Topps flagship, pretty sure 2021 series one series two and update were all on sale you know hobby boxes jumbo boxes but who really wants that stuff retail stuff so if it was a desirable rookie class a desirable year a desirable product it was probably available in retail only for sale i'm looking at you 2017 donruss optic football that deal was in and out all week uh probably still is in and out to be honest all weekend and uh, Megas, um, they also had a deal on Blasters for a while. I'm sure that'll come back. So what we're seeing is some of these bigger retailers, and again, they kind of act as distributors too. They're liquidating some of the less desirable stuff. But if you look under the covers a little bit, guys, 
Blowout, it's not just, you know, that front page will give you the door busters, it'll give you the trending Black Friday deals, Wave 3, Wave 4, Wave 5, whatever. But if you actually search out specific items, they drop their prices almost across the board on a lot of good stuff. 2021 Bowman Draft right now, 520, 530, something like that. Um, I'm pretty sure it wasn't at that price two or three weeks ago. Same thing with 2019 Topps Chrome Hobby. Some of the products that I look at, you know, the deals don't show up again in that like first landing page um, with all the other Black Friday deals that they're trying to push. But they did drop their prices across the board on a lot of stuff. In 2020 Bowman Chrome um, HDA, I think they had it for 250. Uh, that's a pretty good price. You know, part of this is, um, well, I'm sure it was expected by a lot of you, but also keeping up with the times. I mean, there's a lot of, granted, there's smaller sellers on eBay that probably don't have a whole lot of inventory, but the auction comps, uh, previously sold items on eBay for a lot of stuff that's being auctioned, they're not very strong. The, again, the standout deals weren't really there. So Bowman Draft talked about 21 coming down a bit, but... You're not really seeing a big, uh, you know, like 20 Bowman draft, 19 Bowman draft. Um, not really seeing huge movements in your favor uh, as a buyer on, on products like that, or even the more desirable years of Topps Chrome. Um, talked about 2019, but 2018 hasn't budged much, uh, to be honest. 2020 probably has more room to fall as well. I forget where that's at right now, especially the jumbos are too high, in my opinion. So, um, so another way to look at this, yes, these deals might have disappointed, but they're down kind of across the board since March, just like singles are. Maybe they didn't fall as much, but we're dealing with a very well-capitalized entity with blowout, and they tend to be the market setter. And a lot of the other ones kind of fall in line. So I don't want to take away from Steel Cities and DA Car Royals and the Midwests and the Chicago lands too much because they do have the ability to price their products however they want. But I think it helps that blowout is kind of setting prices here and the other ones kind of fall in line. Look back at the boom 2018 through 2021. They probably on a margin basis did better than just about anyone. If you look at all the entities in the hobby, who did the best on a, from a profitability perspective, you would think it would either be distributors, online, retailers that act as distributors like blowout or breakers some of the top breakers probably did a little bit better than blowout but i'm guessing blowout did very very well there's also rumors that they are backed by funds gives them more of a backing to be more flexible with what they do from a long-term perspective and holding out certain products for a longer period of time some of the more desirable products so what's blowout's perspective like what's their deal right now what's going on well they might want to retain some of the upside potential from some of the good stuff they have for the next bull market run, whenever they think that could be. Um, they could have some possible reservations about crashing or flooding the market on some of the good stuff. And they might be taking the stance that, okay, I know some of the smaller dealers could sell it for this, but we control so much of the damn product that it doesn't matter if you have one-off sales here and there for... 2019 Topps Chrome, a case just went for 320 a box, basically. Um, so that's that's an anomaly. You know, we know there's not that many out there. We know that we have X percent making this up, 65 percent of that product, or they think they do, of all what's out there. So we're just going to assume that we can control the price, and we're not going to treat this as like a card ladder. Hey, the comp is this, so I'm going to pay the card ladder comp for whatever is in your showcase. You know, at a show, um, Blowout has a little bit more leverage here because of how much of the market that they control and because they naturally act as a market setter with all of the other shops and online retailers, mostly the online retailers, setting their prices exactly like theirs. They probably have API feeds where they're getting updates of their prices for all of their SKUs every morning. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, some of the other competitors had this. Another possible explanation is that blowout might want to retain wax because they're starting to get cut off by fanatics. If it hasn't happened yet, there's a very good chance that Blowout is likely to lose their dominant position in the space. They're going to slowly get cut off if they haven't already. And if you think about how they're different from DA Card World, David Adams has a, uh, a retail store, at least one. Um, Blowout is an online presence only. 
blowout is like almost replicating the distribution structure infrastructure of fanatics they're the closest thing to fanatics with regards to like an outside player that's not one of the existing card manufacturers blowout doesn't provide much value add in the new or changing ecosystem that involves fanatics and their ability to sell uh, straight to consumer at a way where tops and panini weren't able to do and uh yeah there's a chance that blowout is like well you know why clear out all this inventory why clear out all of these racks um in our warehouse if we know we can't replace this stuff so that could be a reason why they're holding on to some stuff all of the retailers are going to be a little bit different again i brought up the differences between them and da card world um who again is still threatened to be cut off a little bit if they haven't already uh but blowout would be uh an immediate danger even more so all right so what do we see for december there's a good chance that these Black Friday prices, I know some of the stuff went up. There's a good chance that the lows that we saw, whether it was Monday before Thanksgiving, any day of last week, or even weeks before that, some stuff's gone up since then on a blowout or some of these other sites. But there's a chance that some of those low prices end up being the future prices and they stay there. Um, just as part of the general correction, which again, I brought up, prices are across the board down from March. And uh, maybe this is just like the beginning stages. Maybe this is middle stages. Maybe this is end stages. I can't really see prices going up too much above where they drop them to throughout uh, Black Friday, though. So this is, and that's where there's a little bit of a trap mentality. You know, Blowout plays all these games and some of these other retailers where, oh, it's 210 today. Oh, it's 250 the next day. Oh, it dropped to 210 again. I might as well take advantage of it before it goes up to 250. So then you buy a bunch of it and maybe you even buy out their entire stock or whatever the max is. And then a few days later, it goes back down after it goes back up again. And they play all these sorts of games, guys. Like don't un don't think that just because they have five left, that means that they just have five left in their warehouse. It's more like that they have 500 or 50 than they have five with some of these items. It's just one of those things where, guys, don't try to save the market here. Nobody's going to be able to. Don't do anything stupid. Don't take out excessive positions and stuff that you have that you don't have a lot of need for. Don't think short term. Don't think, oh, I'm just going to flip this within the next three months or I can wait six months because what we're seeing already is a lot of people that need the cash. People that are speculating are trying to flip these boxes. We see some 17 optic football boxes already in my slabs before I even got mine in the mail. They're already listed there at like new lower prices versus where they're at with eBay. So it might seem like, oh, comps on these are 2X what Blowout's selling them for. This is a great deal. I'm gonna buy 5,000 worth. No, if there's 5,000 worth to buy, that should be your first inkling that, you know, maybe I shouldn't do this. Maybe there's a lot out there. Maybe this is all just part of the correction. Maybe this low price that Blowout's advertising ends up being the permanent low price. And uh, after fees and shipping, there's really no profit to be had on some of these things. So personally, I'm in survival mode. I'm trying to make sure that I'm selling more than I'm buying. This month's a little bit different because of the new deals and the new floor prices on some of these things and the accessibility of some of these things that I, weren't, that I wasn't able to get. Um, but I'm being very selective. I'm buying quantities that I need. I'm thinking longer term than six months, longer term than nine months or even a year. Uh, I'm being uh, very selective and I'm trying to kind of cover my ass, mitigate risk a little bit by only taking out certain positions and certain stuff. Um, we'll go a little bit higher if I need this stuff. So what do you guys think? Are you guys also dissatisfied with the Black Friday and Cyber Monday promotions that we saw over the last seven to 10 days? Are you expecting this to continue? What do you think Blowout and some of these other big shops are thinking right now? Do you think they're crazy? And uh, do you think some of these new prices are here to stay? Do you think we'll see lower? Do you think we'll see higher? Spill it all down below, guys. Welcome, new subscribers. Thanks so much for the shout out. Run good life. If you're breaking, break with that guy. You can't break with me anymore because I was fired from Loop. That's for another video. Take care, guys. Filmington out. We talked about clearing out inventory. Usually, you're going to try to get rid of the older stuff. But if they're dropping 22 tops chrome to the prices where they dropped it at, and I know there's that promotion too with the judge and Goldschmidt to get some value back, 
But I mean, the fact that those are at that price already, that isn't good. That's making me stay away. And maybe it's because I'm already a little overexposed. I probably have at least another case left of uh, 22 tops Chrome. And I've got some light boxes too. Uh, I just got absolutely taken by 22 tops Chrome this year. 